Okay, guys. So we are now on the lesson four of our uh, topics. So in today's lecture, we will be discussing about the Java flow controls. Okay, na meron tayo. So natin. So in this uh, topic, you'll be able to uh, we'll be discussing if a statement which statement while down while for break continue and statement labels. So these are uh, um, I know hopefully you are all familiar with this one already, no? Since uh, nasa ano na to? This was discussed during your uh, programming class. Okay, sige. So let's start. Mm -hmm. So take away points, identify a properly constructed job resource file, learn syntax and correct use of if else, learn syntax and correct use of switch, while, do while for, break continue, and statement label. So yan yung might discuss natin. Okay, so sige. Okay, so I think we should can start now, no? So, so types of flow controls we have uh, actually we have two types: sequential and selection. And then also we have iteration. Okay, there are three: sequential, selection, iteration. Yeah. So first we have sequential. So for sequential, what does sequential means? So perform statement in order they are written. Okay, so usually uh, if uh, tuloy-tuloy lang yung pagbasa, yung usually if mga print, uh, print commands na yung ginagamit natin, that is sequential. Okay, so selection is if perform statement based on a condition. Okay, so dito ngayon, if gagamit tayo ng mga uh, operational, uh, operational operators, then that's the time magkakaroon tayo ng selection. Okay. And next, we have iteration. Iteration perform statements repeatedly based on a condition. So, dito conditional na siya. Okay? So, as you can see, we use we are using selection for if else and then iteration for looping statements. Okay? So, first, we'll have if. So, if else perform statement based on two or more conditions na meron. Okay, condition should result to a Boolean expression. So, dapat true or false ang result ni parate. Then, if condition is true, the statement of the following is executed. So, if condition is false, the statement following else are executed. Ibig sabihin yung else yung mangyayari. So, for example, here we have, this is the format. Okay, so this is also how you write if else in Java. So, as you can see, it's really similar with C++ lang. Okay? You have if followed by uh, the open and close bracket and then brace. And inside that is the condition na meron tayo. Now, based on the condition, malalaman natin kung true or adding statement yung gagawin niya. If it's true, gagawin niya yung unang statement. But if it's false, then it's going to execute the else statement. Okay? So, yan yung mangyayari. So, for example, okay. Okay, for example, for this one. So, if, uh, okay, so you have here the value of h equals to 10. So, if h is less than 10, it's going to print out system, uh, print out you're just a kid. Else, or you're just a kid, and then, else you're probably old if it's less than if the condition is less than 10 it will print uh you're a kid but take note meron tayong else if dito so else if if it's less than 20 then it's going to be teenager as you can see tingnan niyo why do you think na una yung condition na age is less than 10 kaysa sa age is less than 20 bakit Anyone? Anyone? May gusto bang sumagot? Anyone? Okay, wala. Sige, ito na. Sige. Kasi ganito. See, if the, if the second condition goes first, no, do sa una, it will image, uh, immediately be true even though the value is just 10. Diba? So, magiging true siya kagad. 
So you have to be careful minsan sa mga condition niyo kasi if um uh, the condition that you re you have written is hindi in order or hindi tama yung pagkaka-order niya, it will affect the outcome or output of your code. So try to imagine here, if we place una muna yung age 10 kaysa sa age uh, a is equals to 20 na uh, age is less than 20 condition than age less than 10 condition. So if that's going to be the case, if and uh, since age equals 10, it will now pagpunta niyo sa age less than 20 magiging true siya kagad and then if you print na na you are at in ager even though to ang tamang sagot is you are still a kid. Gets? Do you get the idea here? Huh? Yes, sir. So, okay. So, yun. So, you have to be careful with ano yung mga nauuna sa mga conditions ninyo. Okay? So, yun lang yung mga doon. So, if we're going to run this, so, you'll get uh, your uh, teenager. Now, bakit naging teenager? Anyone? Bakit siya... Bakit siya sa teenager pumasok? Bakit hindi doon sa kid? Anyone? Kasi Bakit hindi pumasok sa teenager? Condition sir is less than 10. Okay, it's less than 10. So, ang acceptable age lang is from 1 to 9. But if meron tayong age equals to less than equal to 10, then this is going to be a kid. Diba? So, okay. So questions regarding this one? May tanong ba dito? Nag-gets ba kung paano? Probably, alam niyo na to, familiar na kayo dito, no? Sige, so let's move. So next we have switch. So switch perform statement based on multiple conditions. Okay? Ex uh, ex uh, expressions can only be car by short int val should be a unique constant of x or the expression. So case statement falls through the next case unless break is encountered. So pag walang break, di siya pupunta. And default is executive, none of other cases match x, x. So, so here we have the syntax for switch. So you have switch and then your expression in your and then you have the keyword case, place, then yung, uh, ano yung condition niyo or value ng condition niyo. Okay? So, example, sige, let's try to run a code to see. Okay. So here, for example, so we gave, so we have a variable sex which has the value of m now nilagay natin yung variable dun sa expression and then now on the case it check niya ngayon ano yung value or saan nagmamatch yung value na sex na yun so since it is m so it will now print i am male now this is tricky you need to have the break here Kasi if wala siyang break, it will still, even though nag-true siya dito, pupunta pa rin siya ngayon sa next case. Yun yung ano ng break. That is the function ng break. Okay? Ibig sabihin, pag nakita niya yung break, it will now get out of this switch statement. Lalabas na siya ngayon dyan. Kasi if hindi, if walang break, it will still continue sa next and then dadating siya ngayon doon sa default. Okay, so ganun yung mangyayari. So that's the function of a break. Okay, so nagets ba to hindi? Gets ba? Okay, so we have here, output is I am a male. Ayan. Next, okay, while. Okay, mga favorite ninyo ngayon, medyo pahirap ng pahirap ng konti. Okay, so while perform statements repeatedly while conditions remains true. As long as true, iikot at iikot. Okay. So here is the syntax. So we have while and then open close condition and then braces and yung statement in yung. pa rin. Okay. So here we have a sample. So what will be the answer here? Anyone? Ano magiging answer natin? What will be the first output? 
Anyone? Give me what would be the first output. Ten, sir. Okay, timer is equals to ten. Tama. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, may mali dito. Okay? Since hindi tayo nagbabago, walang ano, hindi tayo nag-decrement. So, always ang yan, 10, 10, 10 ang lalabas. May kulang sa code na to. Okay? So, this is not the value na lalabas dapat. Kasi, mapapansin ninyo, system up with timer, wala tayong nilagay na, ano, uh, nag-subtract sa kanya ng value. So, it, ang mangyayari dyan is, it will now become an infinite loop. Kung saan 10 lang parate ang lalabas. Gets? So, I think you're familiar with that already. Okay? So, malito. May, may nabago at tataga ako sa code na to na hindi ko napapansin. Okay? Next, we have do while. So, performs at least once. So, we have do and then while. The problem nandito is, again, in do while, eh, even though uh, once the loop has started, it will at, do, at, do the statement at least once. At least once, kahit na false ka agad, it will do the statement at least once. So, for example, yan. So, yun. Natanggalan nata ako ng plus plus dun sa ano, dun sa una. Kaya siya nag, ano, nagka-problema. So, here we have control, zero, zero. And then, since we have plus plus, so what will be the first value? Anyone? Take note, this is pause. Post increment. So, what would be the value? Anyone? Sino dyan? Anyone? Okay. Since it is a post increment, first value na lalabas is 0 instead of 1. So, because, paano naging 0? Eh, may increment tayo. So, since this is a post increment, it will post the previous value, not the current value. Okay? Its value now is 1, but it will now post, ano muna yung value niya before nagkaroon ng plus plus. Pero, ganun yung nangyari. So, that's why we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? So, question so far? May mga tanong ba? None, sir. Okay, very good. So, let's proceed. Now, how about 4? Now, for or perform statements repeatedly based on a condition. Uh, in it is a list of either declarations, expressions, evaluation per and only. Once condition is evaluated before each iteration, expression is a list of expression evaluated after each iterations. All entries inside are optional for four in infinite loop. So, okay. So, yeah. So here you have your syntax. So, so unlike the other two, for four, meron tayong nila, meron tayong, meron siyang parameters. Kumbaga. Parameters, ibig sabihin, what do you mean by parameters? These are required, required. Okay, required fields or required data na kailangan natin for us to use yung for loop natin. Okay, so first you have your initial value followed by the condition and then the expression. Okay, so for example, here we have, okay, we have int h equals to 18, and then that is the initial value, h is equals to 18, and then we have the condition and h is less than 30, and then we have the expression plus plus. So until the condition is true, it will repeatedly equal to So System out print line. So enjoy life while you are gang ano. So until you are 29. Okay. Nagets ba to? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Very good. Yeah, Milton. So next, follow tayo kay break. Okay. So break, exit, loop, or switch statement. That is why you need breaks doon sa case natin. If a long break, it will just continue until it hits default. Okay, that's why kailangan ng break. 
So, example here, we have while is eating, tapos is eating is two. So, actually, pansin nyo, dito pa lang, this is going to be a nested. Kasi take load, this is always true. So, if more food is less than one, that's the time na mag-aalis siya. Okay? So, uh, problem here is hindi ata ito siya na hindi nagbabago yung value ng more, hindi, may minus to dito ang more food natin. May, dec may decrement to, di lang lumabas yung decrement. Okay? So, may decrement na more, dec uh, decrement more food. So, it will now loop for four times and then hit break and then go out dito sa bird. So, output is yun nga. So, apat na loops and then it will hit the break and then punta kay birth. Na gets ba? Klaro ba to dito? Guys? Hello? Klaro to? Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Next, continue. Para sa miss continue. Continue is used inside loop to start a new iteration. Okay? So, we just use the keyword continue. Okay? So, sample is this one. Okay. So, uh, so what happens here is we have uh, 4, 7, and then this time 12, plus, plus. So, dito dapat, uh, it should remain true. No? Uh, and then, time is over. So, until this, uh, or and every time, uh dito is, you have here your for, and then you have your condition. So, as long as this is true, it will just remain inside the for. Pero pag once mag hit ng false, ang ano natin, ang condition natin, that's the time magkukontinue siya and lalabas siya sa for na to. So, for example, so first, initial, which is 7, papasok siya, true. So, print out, do not disturb, and then magiging uh, 8. Ah, ito pa lang, magiging 8 to kaga dito, 8. And then 9, uh, 7, 8. O, tama, 7, to 8. Tapos magiging 9. And then, so, pagpunta dito ngayon, once na nag, ano to, it becomes false, and then it will continue, will now trigger. And lalabas siya ngayon, kung pupunta siya dito sa uh, ZZ, and then iikot pa rin siya. So that's why meron tayong, yan. Okay? So moving on, kasi wala na tayong oras. So statement label, a label is identifier placed before a statement. It ends with break label name used to exit a label statement and etc so for example you first create the label name and then break label name or continue label name so for example paano ba tayo gumagamit ng label mga label statements okay okay so here we have gumawa tayo ng array okay okay int score and then, these are the values ng arrays na meron tayo. I assume you are familiar with arrays. So, we have created a statement label na outer. Okay? So, once you break outer, yan, break outer. So, once the out, uh, break outer is met, lalabas siya ngayon dito and then pupunta siya ulit dito sa outer na to or sa outer na label. Okay, so pag na-hit na yung break, once the break na yung break outer, it will now go dun sa outer, sa labas, and then magiging false na yung condition para sa for, and then it will now go para sa inner. Okay? And then, parang ano lang siya, are you familiar with go to sa ano, sa C++? Para lang siyang go to. Okay, yun yung function ng statement label. Okay, para hindi na kayo mahilo, ganun lang. Okay, so here you have more practice, more score, clap, 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 and and that's all. Okay, do you have questions? May mga tanong ba regarding this one? Do you have questions? <laughs> 